Hi guys, how are you keeping? I hope that I am in focus because I finally got a new camera if you weren't aware. I'm kind of getting everything kind of out of focus and blurry so I decided that I'm going to keep the camera right here because it is not blurring on me yet. Maybe this is all blurry. The whole video is probably blurry already but I'm trying to figure this out so if at any stage in the video this gets blurry I'm really really sorry. But, uh, you know, we always have teething problems when we get new technology and we have to learn how to use it properly, so that's what I am doing. But I finally think I figured out the settings on it, so I'm going to do an empties video because, you know, I have a lot of rubbish gathered up and I think it's about time that I showed you everything that I have gathered up. The first thing is actually not in here, but it was a MAC Angel Lipstick. And that's like my all time, all time favourite lipstick. I have a haul coming up and I think I bought two of them in that haul. It w it went some at some stage during the month. But the first things in here I see are one, two, three. Batiste dry shampoos because I hate these. Not. I think these are the most amazing dry shampoos ever. They just leave my hair like really, 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 um, Really, really, I was going to say moisturise, that's not what they do. Really, really clean on like third, fourth day hair. If we're going to go four days without washing our hair. But usually I'd use this on a third day hair. And it just kind of like soaks up any of the oil. And that hence why I've used so many. Um, This is over about six weeks. And I think I use, like, a, I go through these like nobody's business. But it just like allows me to not wash my hair so frequently. Because I don't like washing my hair all that frequently. It gets a little bit dry and kind of limp and then the, the colour in it just fades and stuff. So this kind of helps with that. And for my brunette babes out there, there is actually a brunette version of this. Because this actually comes out quite white on your hair. If you're blonde, great. Covers up dark roots, which I have right now. But um, if you are brunette, obviously you don't want to be pouring or pouring, spraying some white substance onto your roots because that's just going to look nasty. But they do have a brunette version. Never use it, but I'm sure that it, you know, I'm sure that it works just as well as these, if not just better for brunette people because it's not going to leave you with white hair. The next thing is a shampoo, no, rather it's a conditioner, and this is the Dumb Blonde from TG, and it looks like this, so it just kind of is the orange packaging at the top, and it's for blonde hair. This I think is supposed to be like a care shampoo so it's or conditioner it's to help with maintaining blonde naturally. I think this is my third or second repurchase anyway but it could be my third one and I found that when I first got it it was lovely it was getting my hair really clean the smell of it is amazing like it just smells like it smells like sweets and oh it just it just has the most incredible incredible smell. When I was using it for the first two batches of it we'll say it was going really well but this third one for some reason I don't know whether my hair was getting used to it or what what the problem was but there I was getting kind of product build up kind of just on my wherever that is just the top of my head <laughs> I was getting kind of product build up so and um, when I washed out my hair and dried it it was kind of still a little bit of tackiness left from the product obviously it hadn't completely washed out so I just thought maybe that was you know first time bad luck and then I the next time I washed my hair and I used this and you know thoroughly tried to wash it out it still had a bit of product left just in the exact same position so either I'm not washing my hair properly or this is just leaving product build up because I haven't had it, any other problems like that from any other shampoos and I use like Pantene on a regular basis this was like an every second or third kind of shampoo like I wouldn't use it every single time I wash my hair but I just found that I was getting a lot of product build up so for that reason I did love it the last two times but this time I just don't think I'm going to repurchase. The next two things are from John Frieda. One is a conditioner and it's the Sheer Blonde Go Blonder. I have the shampoo of this but it's uh, long since gone. This smells like lemons. It's grand. Doesn't do anything amazing to my hair. I've seen better product from Pantene and Herbal Essence and stuff that just make a nicer kind of shampoo and conditioner. This doesn't really do anything for my colour or anything like that so for f I think they're four euro a week. I think I just use a Pantene or Herbal Essence other than this. The other one here is the conditioner again and it's for the sheer blonde. The reason why these are all conditioners is because I go through two conditioners uh, in the space of the time I go through one shampoo. So I still have the shampoos of these and these are just the conditioners. But um, this is a toner. So for blonde babes it's to help kind of get rid of any canary yellow tones in your hair. 
and kind of brighten up your hair. It's really good for in between kind of colourings as well because it just kind of gives your hair a new like lease of life. But I wouldn't buy this again because I got a much better one, the, the Lee Stafford. I have the shampoo here and I'll show you that in a minute. But this just isn't worth the money. Again, they're about four or five euro and it doesn't do anything for my hair. It doesn't tone my hair. It doesn't get, up, get rid of any canary yellow tones. It doesn't make my blonde last longer. So I would never, ever repurchase this. Sorry, John, for you. This one is my all-time favourite. This is the Lee Stafford Bleach Blondes. And I have since repurchased this because I just love it so much. This was the first ever one I got of this and it lasted ages. I mean it literally lasted ages. I have a hair care video that I put up, I'm not sure when, but I'll link it down below. And I featured this in it and I literally have had it since that long. I don't use it every single time I wash my hair. I use it once a week and I use like literally like a pea size, well maybe a little bit more than a pea size, but... I use like the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest amount because this is potent. This will turn your hair purple if you overuse it. But that's what we want. Like we want the toning to go on. I would always repurchase this. I'll always, always have this in my shower. And I just think it is amazing. It is the best toning shampoo ever. And I just am so glad I found it. Next thing randomly is a deodorant. But I mean we all got to smell fresh. So this is the Dove Go Fresh pomegranate and lemon verbena scent, whatever the hell that is. But it's the most amazing smell. It's like pomegranate. Like all I can get is the pomegranate in it. So, and I think pomegranate smells amazing. I've never eaten a pomegranate. Pomegranate. Like okay, that's a really weird word. But um, it, the smell of this is amazing. The next thing is the Visible Different Skin Balancing Lotion from Elizabeth Arden. This is an amazing moisturiser. I absolutely love it. It's really nice consistency. It's not too thick, not too runny. And it's really good for combination skin. I get very oily just in my T-zone area. Especially in kind of summer or warm kind of months. I get very oily in there. And I just find that this kind of helps to counteract that. And I get awful dry on my cheeks. And just sometimes in here... Sometimes, like in the summertime, it can get a bit oily, but in the wintertime, it can get very dry and flaky. And always around my mouth, I get very, very dry. I don't know why. I have um, really bad eczema actually right here, just like a little patch of it. It's really random, but it, I just find like a moisturiser like this actually helps. It doesn't, you know, sting my skin or irritate my skin or, you know, anything like that, especially when I have like a breakout. I don't want to be overloading my skin with products. But uh, I just find that this really does a good job with the price of it. I can't justify it, like, purchasing it again. I think this was an empties video recently, or in one of my previous empty videos. And I said I wasn't going to buy it again. But sometimes they come up in special offer and I can't resist. So that was one of those times. But it is a really nice moisturiser and I will get it again if it is on sale. But I don't think I pay full price. Even with my work discount, I just don't think it is worth it. Next is the Righteous Butter from Soap and Glory. This is just a body butter and it's really amazing. I actually have used the whole thing, like scooped everything out of it. And it smells so nice. It's just a really nice kind of refreshing body butter. There's nothing really amazing about it. It's just moisturising. Nice to put on when you come out of a shower. It takes a little bit longer than normal to kind of dry in. So you're kind of going around air drying for a little while. Um, but other than that, I think it's a really nice body butter. And I probably will get the full size. I've had the full size in the past. And I just... I don't remember using it all up. So I'm always a bit reluctant to buy Soap and Glory's full sizes. Because they tend to go off, which is leading into my next Soap and Glory product, which is the hand food. This is your hand hand moisturizer, it's a hand lotion. So it's basically just to kind of moisturize your hands on the go. And this is the miniature size of it. But as you can probably tell, it's not all finished. Like there's like just about that much left in it, which is basically nearly a full size product. But it has gone off. It smells really bad. Like it has actually gone so bad. And I have it, I'd say about three months maybe. I know that's probably a long time to have a hand cream. I'm not sure how long you should have hand creams for. But I have had this about three months. And it has gone off. I got it in a set at Christmas time. And it just went off this month. So 
I'm, I'm not really sure why or if they're you know if if it was just a dodgy one I got maybe it was on the way out anyway but it was I got it in a set for Christmas so I'm not really sure why it's gone off on me but I had it in my handbag there a couple of weeks ago and I took it out and I was like um it smells a bit rank so I think that it's gone off so I'm very reluctant to buy a full size of this it was a lovely hand lotion but I think I will just stick to my Elizabeth Arden 8 hour hand cream because I can't be dealing with this going off. That's just, I uh, just can't be dealing with that. Next thing is my e.l.f. eyebrow kit and it looks like that. Um, there's a powder side here and then your wax on this side. And I used, obviously I bought a new one, I use it today to do my brows and I use it all the time. I recently bought the Benefit one because my friend Michelle had it and I tried it in her house and it was lovely. So this one is just a really cheap one for you know on the go and stuff like that and for those of you who are just kind of getting into makeup and I think that eyebrows are so important so you know 30 something on a benefit one is a bit of a splurge but 5 euro or 4 euro for one of these it, you mean it can't go wrong and I just think it gives a really nice colour to the eyebrows so I would really recommend this and I definitely will repurchase it when my next one is gone next is my carbon black voluminous from L'Oreal mascara this is my old faithful mascara the best mascara on the market. I recently got the Miss Magma mascara from L'Oreal. It was on like a promotion. I think it was like 10 euro and they're usually ooh, and they're usually like 14 or something but uh, it was crap. Like it really was crap. Like I wish that I just spent the extra 4 euro and bought my voluminous mascara. I have since recently repurchased it but I just thought that the Miss Magma was rubbish compared to this and I will always always go back to this. I kind of get like a bit sidetracked with different mascaras and different things that come out and I always try them and then regret it and always go back to this guy. So next is my Stay Matte Rimmel Powder. This is just one of the best powders that's on the market in my opinion. I have tried like MAC and Clinique and Elizabeth Arden and, but I just think that this one is so affordable for the price and it just leaves me matte in the areas that I want to keep matte like my forehead and my chin and stuff. It's really good for oily skin and I just think it is so cheap, a 5 euro and you cannot go wrong with it. I will always repurchase this and always have this in my collection. I really, really recommend it to those of you who have never tried it. Next I have two perfumes. Now these are my Neve perfumes. That's a really weird thing to say but these are the perfumes that remind me of my best friend Neve. This is the Christina Aguilera. This is just the original one with the kind of... Like, I don't know, weird black pattern on the front, and then this is Britney Spears Fantasy Perfume. And these were both purchased around the same time, which was about three years ago. Now, I've had these bottles for about three years. Well, I haven't had this one for about three years, I buy a new one of this nearly every six to eight months. And this was my very first one of this, and it just ran out. And the reason why I call them Neve perfumes is because I bought both of these with Neve, and they both remind me of Neve. And they remind me kind of when our relationship, like our friendship, first started kind of like blooming. And it just reminds me of all the lunches that we went to and stuff like that. And she always wears this as well, so we kind of like twinnies with our matching perfume. And I just, I just love these perfumes so much. I'm definitely going to repurchase this when I run out of another one because I have, as you can see, a ton of perfumes by me. So I want to wait till I run out of one more perfume before I repurchase this. So this is my Provage Moisturising Cream. It's like a yellow kind of thick kind of moisturiser. It is really, really, really rich. The Provage line in Elizabeth Arden, like they do loads of different things from serums to, you know, moisturisers to like different scrubs and different things like that. But the Provage line is the makers of Botox and Elizabeth Arden came together to create this. So it's a completely or not really anti-aging product. And I don't, not saying that I need an anti-aging product, it's just that I happened to get my hands on it when I was at work. So, I just went and used it and I thought it was amazing, amazing product. It just left my skin so moisturised. I use this product maybe once a week, it's lasted me ages. But if anybody is looking for a good anti-aging kind of cream to kind of add that moisture back into your skin, I would definitely recommend Provage. Now it is along the pricey side. This moisturiser, the full size of it, I have it, have it over there. But the full size of the moisturiser is a roughly around 200 euro. I think it's around 200 euro. I sell this and I can't remember the price of it. But it's very, very pricey. But it is, you know, it is what it is. It's 
it's an anti-aging cream. I think they're all kind of a little bit in the pricey range. But it is a very nice cream. And I'm not saying go out and spend €200 Euro on it. But if it was something that you were thinking of investing in, I really, really recommend the Bravage range. It's amazing. And final product is a lipstick. Now, this is not a lipstick that ran out recently. The packaging of it is even so old. It's a Rimmel lipstick in the colour uh, 006 Pink Blush. And it looks like that. I don't know if you can see. It's just a really nice kind of pinky colour. There's just a tiny, tiny bit left. But I'm throwing it out because I was... I was? I was going through my makeup drawers and I was kind of throwing out old lip products. But I thought this would be one to kind of talk about and just show you. Because I have since gotten a backup of it. And that's why I wanted to talk about it. It's just the most amazing Barbie pink colour. And I just love it on the lips it's so flattering and it's just really 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 nice it's a really really nice um formulation and everything i just think these lipsticks are phenomenal but the packaging now looks like this so they're completely different to what they used to look like but i just thought this was a good one to talk about and it was my ever f ever first first ever rimmel lipstick so that's all guys, that's all my empties for the month and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you in my next one then, bye bye!